Hello from Singapore, this is Gerlinda. Today is April the 9th. We have entered day three of our circuit breaker. circuit breaker. Um, so it's lunchtime again on day three um, here on semi lockdown. Today, my lunch is a famous um, Singaporean dish called Hainanese chicken rice. Now, what is so special about the Hainanese chicken rice? It consists of um, boiled chicken. Um, vegetable and rice. The rice is the most important part of the Hainanese chicken rice. The rice is actually cooked in chicken broth that has been cooked for many hours with chicken bones and other condiments. Um, it also comes with a sweet dark soy sauce, um, ginger and a chili sauce, special made chili sauce. Uh, this is a fantastic dish. I could eat this every day. Come so after posting my first video, I received um, a few feedback from friends whom I have not been in contact with over the last few years and who weren't around when I chose to change my career path and return to school um, to study and to obtain um, qualifications in childcare. Now, calling myself um, a maternity nurse or a nanny, that probably has sparked their um, curiosity to ask me, what am I actually doing in my current profession? Here in Singapore, uh, most families employ a domestic helper from um, other countries to help them with their day-to-day -day, um, routine. Most families, most parents here both go to work, hence um, they need someone at home to be with their children. Um, these domestic helpers often come from the Philippines, from Thailand, from India, uh, or Indonesia or other um, Southeast um, Asian countries. Um, these domestic helpers usually earn a very low um, salary. I believe that there is a, an agreement between their government and the Singaporean government and their rate, their, the salary is on a fixed um, um, table. Um, However, their employers have the obligations to provide them with uh, free food and accommodation and they will also get a ticket to return home uh, after fulfilling um, their contract. Uh, usually they work six days a week, um, having one day off. Their working hours very much depend on what they agree with their employers. Uh, in my opinion, um, it is not that uh, regulated. Um, so in, in, in some rare cases, um, a lot of domestic helpers are exposed to, to abuse, um, which is a very sad thing um, and incredibly inhuman. Um, they do not get paid for working overtime 
and so what is my career different what is my work different to theirs so here I'd like to have this um, take this opportunity to um, give you a little bit of insight of what a maternity nurse um, does a postnatal maternity nurse uh, of my profession is usually someone who comes to your home uh, to help you look after both you um, as a new mother and uh, the newborn baby. Um, our extensive training covers all aspects of uh, newborn baby care including the most common problems that can arise in the first three months of your baby's lives. Um, a maternity nurse will be able to offer you advice and guidance on common issues despite the fact that our training is non-medical. We are there to uh, help establish a healthy routine in the home setting and to provide care for the newborn baby but not their older siblings. Our duties often include setting up the nursery prior to the baby's arrival, um, feeding the baby, bathing the baby and in general basically all aspects of newborn baby care. Um, However, um, housekeeping or cleaning um, is not in our duty. We can give you um, support and advice if you are planning on breastfeeding your baby or if you are planning to bottle feed your baby. We will be there to offer help based on our um, experiences and um, our knowledge. Our placement usually begins once you have left the hospital. Um, we understand that um, you probably be very tired after um, going through um, childbirth and um, despite the fact that you know parents have an unconditional love for their newborn babies, um, you may feel insecure about how to handle uh, the problems um, brought on by having a newborn baby, especially if you're first-time parents. Um, your maternity nurse will be with you every step along the way to ensure that you have total confidence to cope quickly and uh, we will help you implement and establish a healthy feeding and sleeping routine which will suit everyone's needs in your family. If you are planning to book a, a maternity nurse, um, it is also advisable to start your search as early as possible. Usually clients will contact us four to six months prior to their due date. Um, many maternity nurses, including myself, are registered with um, agencies only qualified and experienced um, maternity nurses can register with them as often their requirement is you have to have at least three years of solid experience. Um, all agencies have um, uh, their own set in interview process um, that we have to go uh, through before they can accept the registration. So that gives parents a peace of mind. And uh, on top of that, they also ensure that we can provide proof of our training, of our experiences. Uh, more importantly, um, they have to um, fact check that um, we come with an up-to-date pediatric first aid training and an up-to-date um, enhanced police check called uh, in UK called the DBS. I have been working as a postnatal maternity nurse for quite a while now and in a nutshell I have to say I love my job and all the perks that comes with it of course. Um, I get to travel to the most exciting, most beautiful, most unique places in the world. 
I have been very, very fortunate to have worked for um, families who care deeply about me and my, my well-being, um, who made sure that I was um, always put up in the comfortable places and um, that I was also taken care of while I take care of their most precious possession. However, apart from all the glam, the most rewarding part of this, of this job is really, really priceless. And that's a smile from the baby. It's a common myth that babies can't swim as soon as they're born. While not having the ability to start paddling across the channel, however, babies are born with the most remarkable ability to control their breathing in water. And they have a reflex reaction that enables their arms and legs to move in a swimming motion. This is called the baby cardiac response. Now this natural ability commonly disappears after six months. I have to add that getting in the pool early with your baby will help build its confidence around water. And getting used to swimming early also helps prevent your baby from fearing the water as he grows. Wow.